All right, this is number 22 on the Algebra 2 practice test. So it says two students work the same problem. So we've got Jamie and Taylor. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the two problems because it says which statement is true. So I need to figure out which statement is true. So I have an equation here and I know that I can cross multiply these to, to work this out. So in step one, they didn't change the left. And here I can see that they changed the 5 to a 1. And so that kind of changes the whole equation. Over here on Taylor's, um, so it looks like they took the 1 and they multiplied it by the 2x. And then they did the x plus 3 times 5. So 5 times x is 5x. 5, 5 times 3 is 15. So this step 1 on Taylor's side it looks correct, where over here on Jamie's side, um, they didn't rewrite the problem or anything. All they did was change a number, which you cannot do. So if we look at it, so let's see which statement is true. It says Jamie is correct, or Jamie is right, because the number 5 in the numerator and the 5 in the denominator will simplify to 1. All right, so they tried to simplify the 5 here, but you can't do that because this is a binomial, which means you can only do that if all of these have a multiple of 5. So like if this were a 5 or a 10 instead of a 2, then you could reduce all three of those, but you can't just cancel those out and reduce part of the binomial there. So that one is not correct. It says Taylor is right because 1 times 2x plus 5 1 times 2x plus 5 equals 5 times x plus 3 is one method to solve. So this one looks correct right now, but let's read the rest of them. It says Jamie is wrong because step 2 and 3, okay, I didn't even make it down to 2 and 3, but step 2 and 3, she should have added x to both sides. All right, so in step 2, Okay, so yeah, they actually add, subtracted an x from one side and subtracted a 1. So all they did was basically move the variable to the same side and then move the numbers to the same side. So if you subtract x, so these are okay, not probably the way I would do it, but these are okay, but it's not, um, it's not wrong. All right, so Taylor is wrong because steps 3 and 4 he should have divided both sides by negative 10. All right, so you're solving for x, so you always divide by the number that's beside of the x. So they divided both sides by 3. So that one's correct, and it says this one's wrong, so that one's not right. So b, that we thought in the beginning, is correct. That is actually the correct answer.